Hello students, welcome to the second lecture of your course Thermodynamics. In the previous lecture, I have given you a brief introduction of thermodynamics, how the name thermodynamics came, and what are the laws associated with the thermodynamics, and what are the approaches we can use to study thermodynamics. And I have mentioned that we can we have we are using macroscopic approach in this course, and mostly whatever the study you are found in normally that all are based on the this classical thermodynamics statistical thermodynamics is also used uh, that is uh, as i mentioned that is for the very small system that is to get a more detailed overview of the system then we're going to use that statistical system thermodynamics so so systems i have always everywhere i have mentioned systems so what this mean by what do we understand by the system. So what is the definition of the thermodynamic system? So thermodynamic definition system is nothing. It's just the matter. It's a quantity of matter. Finite it's a finite quantity of matter which contains some mass. And also there is can be a region, specified region in space where the thermodynamic process is taking place. So so your mobile can be a system which has some finite quantity however at as well as uh, your room can be a system which is a prescribed region in space so these are the some of the example of the system and uh, whatever the mass and region outside of the system is called the surroundings so obviously there should be some boundary which divides system from the surroundings so these are either the boundary can be real so Whatever the mass quantity of matter is involved as a system, then we have the real boundary at the either prescribed region in space. In case of room, if the whole the door are closed, your windows are closed, then we have a closed system and then we have a then we got a real boundary. But if your door is open, then we take in instead of door we take an as an imaginary boundary. So that is the so it can be boundary can be real or imaginary. So so we separate the system from the surrounding so and boundary may be fixed as like your mobile if you take mobile as a system the boundary is fixed and it can be moving so when a system containing a gas is compressed or that's the example so when a system containing gas or compression expansion its boundary is moving and the boundary obviously it should have a zero thickness is neither contain any mass or nor occupy any volume in space and in case of thermodynamic we have we got three system one is open system another is closed system and then an isolated system in open system where both energy as well as mass can transfer from system to the surroundings so there is mass as well as we get energy interaction like if you take as an example of stove without putting lid uh, lid on the stove uh, uh, on the pan if you put a pan on the stove and if you have if the leaf is open then you'll got a open system because the whatever the steam coming if you boil the water the whatever the steam coming from the pan it can goes out and if you put the lid on the pan then what it it cannot the steam cannot go out so it is the mass cannot go out from the system however the heat energy is interaction is takes place from the stove heat is coming from the stove so so one is open system when the lid is open and we got the we got the closed system when the lid is closed at that time in the closed system only energy interaction can take place there is no mass interaction so if you like if the examples are given here so if you put a very tightly fitting lead on the pot from the then it will approximate a closed system and how can you define an isolated system the isolated system the name itself suggests that it is isolated so there is no neither mass nor energy interaction takes place so what you do if you boil a what if you boil a water in a pan okay then what you do boil a water in a pot then what happens if you the if you if you don't put your lid on the pot the the steam will uh, moves out from the pot 
so that will be open system and if the if you put the lid tightly on the pot then it will become closed system now it uh, if you now pour the this hot water into the insulated flux then it will can be like theoretically or hypothetically you can you can assume that it is a isolated system because neither mass or nor energy can out from the system that isolated system however in it is an actual scenario it is very difficult to get a isolated system so it is very conceptual thing because you have seen you may have noticed that after like one day or like after some hours the water start cool itself so it is very difficult to get a isolated system so in this way i have concluded the your second class so hope you have understood the concept of system boundary and surroundings which is going to be which is these terms are going to use in all the uh, in the wherever we studying thermodynamics you have to like understand these terms thank you